Hey guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla stock options analysis. So guys, calls are loaded up. So in this video, let's take a look at what is the traders on the option side sentiment is looking like. I'm seeing huge calls you can already see here, right? I'll talk about in this video as for what type of calls may come to fruition what type of calls even though there are a lot of calls and spikes can they still come to fruition in these coming four days because it's a shorter week as well right so i'll share my opinion based off of the technical so it's a confluence between technicals and then putting that up on the options data that i'm seeing where where the traders are putting their money right and also i'll talk about if puts you know i'm seeing a spike on the puts as well so how things are not the spike as how high the calls are right but but still where the puts are as well right so we'll talk about that as well like can these puts come into play as well so with that guys please hit the like and subscribe and also please note none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes before going further i also want to ask you guys if you can go to my channel and check out this tesla stock video from yesterday this will give you some more heads up already for the technicals i'll be just talking about very high level technicals here but more time i'll be spending on the options data so if you can check this video out that i did yesterday on the technicals that will help you out and also if you're interested in following along the journey of mine as i'm building my dividend based portfolio feel free to please subscribe to this channel of mine junior trader dividend investing channel you can find the link to this in the description of this video as well and yeah, I'll see you there as well then. Okay, so let's come back here on Tesla and uh, let's talk about, first of all, really quickly, what is the price action telling us? So as for my last video, Tesla is not bearish and it is more bullish, I would say. It's not that it's fully bullish. It's just that it's 70% to 75% in my opinion is bullish what i really want to see is tesla taking out this lower pivot that it has formed right this candle red candle we want to take out this candle so that we can fully continue in the uptrend but yes staying just getting about 178 dollars is a huge win already on the bull side we are also above 20 days moving average so showing you on four hours though that we are above 178 which means we are back again outside that little bit resistance and into the demand zone so we just want to shoot up from here and not fall lower again. So that's very important to get out of 180 and also take out this pivot on the that has formed a lower high. We got to take out this pivot to just continue up and up and up then to stay full on bullish. All right. But yes, things are looking good on Tesla's. As I said, I think technicals as per my equations, 70 percent, we are bullish. All right. And again, if you want to know more about it, check out my previous video. OK. On the technicals okay let's talk about the options now so black is the last trading day closing price and all other green are the calls and red are the puts right off the gate you can see a lot of calls are sitting right we have spike at 200 dollars call we have good calls at 180 185 190 as well and even 220 some of those on the put side we have a spike at 175 but nothing lower than that then 150 so how about we pick from the put sides today? So 100 and 150, let's talk about that. Where is 150? Right over here. And these are the calls for this week expiration. I have no clue why traders are betting their money on 150. There is no way that I foresee Tesla to get to 150 in these four days. There is just a lot of technical support sitting. Uh, this area of $160 is a good technical support. We are still above 20 and 50 days moving average. Uh, this, what I expect, you know, um, let me actually take it to the hourly interval, right? I expect this to hold some support at this 200 hours moving average as well. There is no way we are getting to 150. Those puts are cooked. All right, uh, I have no clue why we are having a spike there. But again, traders do their own thing, right? I mean, it's just, yeah whatever they're doing but yeah those puts are worthless 175 in my opinion let's take a look at that so 175 is not that far away guys from where we are that actually is at one of our significant level 
And I wonder if many of them are rolled over from last week as well, because we had a red candle one of the days last week, right? But so speaking of 175 puts, I would not fully count them out, but the price action is not in that direction right now. One, 175 is right over here at our critical level. It's also above, it's below 200 hours moving average. So price is above 200 hours moving average, right? So in my opinion, uh, 100, price is not going in the direction of puts. It's not going in the direction of 175, but it's as close as to the possibility that you can get into, right? But if you are, if you are just want to do the puts, it's up to you. But I don't think the technicals are showing any signs of puts 175. So I would stay away from it. 177.5 puts. Let's see that. That may come in intraday trading only if we lose the level of 170. Then that's just a intraday level type of puts, but I won't bet on that holding them until expiration. But anyways, uh, puts to me are not the not the direction to trade in my opinion. Um, but let's take a look at calls because technicals on Tesla right now, guys, are not in that, that confirmed puts direction. They are not, unless price action changes tomorrow, then we'll see. But right now, price action is not showing me any direction on the put side. All right, let's take a look at calls now. So guys, in my opinion, any of these calls, 180 to 190 at least, can come to fruition. Where is 190 actually? Oh, that's out of this channel. So here's the thing, guys. Let me actually take it to the weekly interval so that we can capture a lot of real estate on, the, on one screen here. So... 190 is somewhere outside the channel um, right over here right so that's a bit of a stretch right that's that's a bit of a stretch um, I would it's tradable guys sorry yeah it's 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 tradable there's a possibility we can do it remember it's a sh shorter week just because it's out of the channel 190 i would not want to go with 190 but 180 185 anything until 190 are safe for bets to play the calls but yeah if we if we get out of the channel that, that i just showed you on the technicals this lower moving um Let's go to the daily interval. This trend line up from here, right? Then 190 is very likely. And we, we need to see a good green candle. If you can see a good green spike candle, then yeah, 190 calls may happen. We'll take a look at the how much price they're going for in just a second. Let's take a look at this $200 call. They're a huge spike. So $200, even though the price is in the in that direction, guys, right? But we have to see how much time is left for these calls expiration. And that is just for this week, right? So I don't think, well, even though a lot of interest is sitting at $200 call, which is great to see, you know, I'm loving it to see so much of calls interest sitting there. But the thing is that all these, like there's, even if price gets out of this channel, I do expect price to a little bit react and pull back at this top. Even let's say we have green, green, green candles, I do expect a pullback, which fails, just falls short of this $200, right? Due to this previous uh, area of the candle where some pullback will come if price re tries to get back up there, right? So I would say no. I don't think this week $200 calls are going to hit. All right, cool. So guys, in my conclusion, calls most likely will make the money. Uh, anything on 109, from 190 onwards, it starts to get a little bit dicey, but it's possible, but 200 will fall short of 200. Until 185, 187.5, I know it doesn't, it just looks like, hey, junior trader, price is just right over here. Yeah, price is just right over here. And that's why it also is a reason that it may either just this week might also just be a little bit choppy, but it all comes down to if we can break out of this channel, guys. If we can break out of this channel, 190 opens up the door, actually opens up the door to 190, but $200 calls, I would still say will fall short of it. But who knows, right? <laughs> Tesla is in the bullish direction, 70 to 75%. So uh, it's, it's uh, looking to 
in my opinion, an upside play unless price action again con starts confirming break. And for that, as I suggested, check out this video to know more about technicals here on this uh, on Tesla. All right, let's take a look at before wrapping up the prices on the calls and the puts, right? So let's say $200 calls price. They're not going, one, one is like compared to Nvidia, which goes like $800, $700, this is just going for $19. Uh, times 100, right? Uh, yeah, the closer to the current price will be expensive. Puts are cheaper, but it also, yeah, put, just, just, just don't put the money in just because puts are cheaper than, no, the thing is that the technicals are not confirming puts, in my opinion. So why would I go with the puts? Even if they are cheaper, you can see puts delta is cheaper than the calls here. So it could be a way to hedge it, but, you know, um, yeah, and just do with the shares. Then if you're just hedging, that means you are just doing a type of a stop loss. So it's up to you. Uh, I, I do it with the shares. All right. And yeah, so 185 is not far away. Risk is also lower compared to 180 and falls in the probability as well. Not bad. Um, yeah, it's all about risk and reward right here. Um, yeah, but anyways, they're not that expensive. Yeah, but just because puts are cheaper than calls doesn't mean you have to go with that. Technically, the technicals are confirming to the upside. And also since uh, Tesla has been green on the calls here, right, you can see, but again, this is relative percent change, right? It's not that from the time of initiation. Um, but yeah, so that's also the reason they're expensive right now. You can see that, uh, yeah, those are still negative though, right? So it, well, it depends that if you think if you if you think that you can make enough money, let's okay, let's let's take this two hundred dollar call as an example. Let's say if you think that okay, risking nineteen dollars, it's negative nine point five two percent. But if you think if price starts to push higher, and this call can come in profit, and you can make money off of your down payment as well, the premium that you are paying, it's not bad if you think. And again, for that, you have to use your options change tools on your brokers. That does the forecasting. And many brokers have that. I, I don't know what type of broker you have, but um, yeah, uh, many, many brokers, many uh, global brokers do have that. And yeah, so that's a way to trade it if you don't want to hold it until expiration. If you think you can sell it and still get the money in profit, um while putting uh, putting up the money and then uh to have making if price gets closer this person will start getting positive but make sure it turns positive enough that you know uh, or any close to lower than what it is right when it's a lower i mean higher right close to you know eight let's say negative eight seven eight, negative seven but you got to make sure that how much money you are putting in according to that if you can it's worth it your cost degradation and everything right but Anyways, if you want to be sure, then it's better to trade the calls which are out of the money, but most likely will win through the expiration as well, right? Those, that's, in my opinion, is the sweet spot to be at. All right, well, guys, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.